They're awful. The defense, I'm not going to blame them because T.J. Watt is out. Highsmith was out. I don't know why everybody got a groin injury, but that's a subject for another day. But their offense is awful. <laughs> it's the music. No, it's the groin injury. Uh, I, 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 I actually asked for this music, Ryan. <laughs> I have never seen the Steelers' offense look this bad. Okay, here's the good news, Stephen A. One of the groin injuries has healed. T.J. Watt will be back at practice. Um, ben Steelers, who are looking to right the ship at Lambeau against that bad man, Aaron Rodgers. A lot of scrutiny, Tim, aimed at the quarterback, Big Ben Roethlisberger. He's staying confident. But, Tim, do you still believe in Big Ben? I believe that he's the best option for the Steelers right now, and I don't even think it's close. Like, I, I feel like this is something that we do so much is, is it's, it's three games, right? And we just hype it up like it's the entire season. It's not. It's three games. Has it been great for Big Ben? No. But is he your best option? Absolutely. Do they still have a chance to turn around? They get some of these guys back? Big Ben's played a lot of football, and he's still going to be able to play, I think, this year. I think he's still a good quarterback. And big games uh, in the fourth quarter, I think he'd still be one of the guys I would pick if you what you say you want a game-winning drive, I still think Big Ben can do that. It's three games. They haven't played well, but he's by far your best option, and I still think he can get the job done. Look, man, first of all, everybody can't be you, okay? Everybody can't defy father time and stuff like that, being in your 30s looking like you're 19 years old, okay? Some of us look our age, not me. Not me. But some of us look our age, okay, Tim Tebow? That's just <laughs> the way that it goes. And when you look at Big Ben Roethlisberger, what is he now, 39 years old? He looks 39, bro. He looks 39. Now, I grant, I grant you that he's their best option. Well, that you're really stepping out of the limb there, Mason Rudolph, Dwayne <laughs> Haskins. I mean, way to go, Tim Tebow. You're really – that's not just, just not saying much because here's the deal. Your offensive line is horrible because Najee Harris – you saw Najee Harris at Alabama last year and the year before that. You know how big time he is. They got the worst running attack in football. That ain't his fault. He can't get blocking. And as a result, Ben Roethlisberger got to step back and pass, and they can't pass protect the dude. Flip. He's Here's a statue back the there, Tim, Tim Tebow. He's a statue. But, but – but Stephen A., that has nothing to do with the point. The point is about Ben Roethlisberger, and now you're bringing up the offensive line in the running game. So if that's a bad offensive line and the running game's not working, you're going to hold that about against Big Ben? I thought the question was, is, is Big Ben the guy? Can Big Ben get it done, right? He can. And if so, but, but then ha that's Under not, these conditions. So fix the offensive line, right? That's I'm not a Big Ben. Uh, well, let me say this to you. You got a deal because Tim Tebow once taught me this. Is, 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 even though you're younger, you're, the bottom line is you're a brilliant young man, and you once taught me this. You got to deal with the conditions you're presented with. And the conditions that you're presented with is what I highlighted. So when we get back to Big Ben, we're saying, under these conditions, this guy is not the idea. I mean, I'm almost to the point where I do want to see Dwayne Haskins because I just want to see somebody who can move because so, he but clearly but cannot. That's the thing. No, Dwayne Haskins can't move. Dwayne Haskins is a pocket passer. Yeah, he's His true. entire yeah, career, right. high school, right. college, right. NFL. Right. Dwayne Haskins is, you know, that's yeah. one of the things when he was at Ohio State, they yes. couldn't run the read option. Yes. He's got a super gifted arm, but he's a pocket guy. So I'm, I'm sorry, but that ain't no, you're the right. point. You're, 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 you're absolutely right. He can't move. That was a bad example. Here was a good <laughs> <laughs> here's, a, here's a bad example. You got me there. Here's the point. For me, mm -hmm. I think anybody can move compared to Big Ben Roethlisberger right now, number one. And number two, that's why I was an advocate of them going out and getting Cam Newton because we Ooh. know he can move. Now, that's a different option. Okay. Yeah, and that's right. a different game. But You're this right. is what I just want to say really quickly. Yeah. Is it really more about Big Ben or all the injuries on this team? Well, listen, I think it's about the injuries because of the defense. When, by the way, Tim, and I've said this for, uh, numerous times this week, I don't understand how four different guys got groin injuries. I don't know what the hell's going on in Pittsburgh. <laughs> right, that makes no sense to me. Four I'm different guys. I'm not touching I, that one. It just, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand. Four? Four guys at the same time? What, what's going on now in, in Pittsburgh? <laughs> That's just me. But having said that, throwing that aside, all I'm saying to you is this. No, their def if their defense was healthier, you'd see more, uh, more opportunistic plays taking place and yeah. what have you because their defense is built like that. Offensively, they are what we think they are. We're witnessing it before our very eyes. You got a new offensive coordinator in Matt Canada, all right? Mm -hmm. you, got, you, you, you got rid of Fickner, and here you are with this team. You still got no running game. still got a highly suspect, no-name offensive line. 
But Big Ben Roethlisberger at age 39, he can't move anymore, Tim. He can't move, and he could barely throw it 20 to 30 yards without his el- without rubbing his elbow. That's where I'm at with it, Tim. You're right. Big Ben can't move like he used to, but he still can throw it, and he can throw it farther than 30 yards. And I think the one thing you're going to see, you're going to see more spread, and you're going to see Big Ben in a, in a great quick game. He's going to be getting it out in less than two seconds. That's going to be their change. You're going to see that happen this week. He's going to try to get it out over and over and over again because that's going to tire a defensive line, and you're going to get it to your playmakers. I think that'll be a big change Pittsburgh makes, and I think Big Ben will thrive doing that. I hope he's right. But I don't believe news, he is. But at I hope least he's when right. your team loses, it's the Aaron. Rogers. Well, you could say that, but but you know what? You that lose to everybody. Tag. You that, lose to everybody. Excuse me, that was a tag you know to then go to break. That but was Giants a, lose to everybody, Tim Tebow. Uh-huh. That's okay, and I'm still loyal, and mm-hmm. I will stay loyal because loyal, loyal, I'm not bandwagon. You can, you can. Still the come. I'm loyal. Yeah, blue. I'm loyal. Who's my color? You see the suit? <laughs> Giants, Yukon, whatever it is. I need the gator tie, though, for this outfit. Uh, Tim's two time coach, Urban Meyer, seemed absolutely dejected last night following the Jags' loss to Cincy. Does Tim think Urban will last in the NFL? The Chiefs already have two of the most dynamic playmakers for Patrick Mahomes to throw to, and now they add Josh Gordon. Tim's surprising take on the former pro 